Hello everyone, Simon here from MyForestMagicWave.com um, Just making a small video just to show what's going on um, for YouTube. Okay, a um, couple of charts that I sent out this week uh, to subscribers. And um, one is the update for uh, the USDX, very important. Um, always uh, emphasize on how important these indexes are, USDX, not only the USDX, I mean you have uh, Euro index, Yen index, they all give you very, very good um, insight in what's going on in, in those pairs of currencies. Okay, so it's very essential to watch them. So I'm just going to show uh, this USDX chart that uh, I've been uh, following for a long time. Uh, you will see. So this is the chart. Um, USD franc H4 um, sent out on the January 14 yesterday that um, it was bouncing from here. I thought it was going to bounce from here because the weekly chart I sent out a long time ago. Not long time ago. I mean like a, a week before. It's uh, it's <clears throat> nice and clean, uh, bullish. So um, based on that, we start the, the up move. We went up there, came back. Uh, was testing this area and then obviously it's going to be bouncing. This is how the price moves, you know, it just breaks one area, then go up, comes back, test it, bounce, then break the high, you know, keep doing it until, you know, it re reaches to a resistance which is not going to break and then start dropping from there. So as long as uh, a higher time frame is telling you that it's going to go up to a certain level, maybe six, seven hundred pips to the upside, then what it does is in a smaller time frame is that a small resistance, uh, you know, break uh, break out, then it comes back always to test that. Not always, but, you know, most of the time, okay? It's very good practice to do and wait for that, you know, pull back towards the support. Uh, it was in you know, like a resistance becomes support, and then, uh, you know, what I call is RBS. So this was the resistance before, now it becomes support here. And then it bounces, and this resistance here. If this breaks, then it's gonna do the same thing. It will go up, and then come back, and then test it, and you know, so on and so forth. So what happened to this chart? This is what happened so far. Okay, so this is, um, and it's probably uh, going to break this, and then continue going up. But you know, you never know. Little by little, uh, you know, eat in a chunk is better. <laughs> okay. Uh, <coughs> So, uh, so far, you know, nice and clean, you know, it went very nice, beautiful. And the other pair, but the, I loved it. Um, I had a very good chance, even over the weekend, way before it, the price was dropping when I told everyone that, you know, it's going to drop to this level and then bounce from there. And it will be uh, a really good bounce. And this was the chart, Euro Aussie. It was done on January 13, and... Uh, um, even before uh, that, uh, over the weekend, I, I told everyone that, you know, I did a live webinar that, you know, this is the area, it's coming, and then the trend is very strongly uh, to the upside, and then Aussie is probably going to get bigger again, and that will make this pair again, you know, fly to the upside. And uh, what happened so far? Beautiful, more than 400 pip bumps. Okay, so this, these are the, you know, setups, the charts. Uh, if you have time, you can find out on your own. And if, you're not, if you don't have time and you want this uh, on your, uh, in your email, then just go ahead on my, you know, my website and subscribe. This is what you get in your email. And all you have to do is use my magic strategy to make an entries. And hopefully I'll give you something really good on that too to make an automatic entry. Anyway, so this is uh, what's happening here, and uh, on the USDX, uh, uh, USD dollar front, what we have, uh, this is a chart I, I made it a long time ago, October 18, the date you have here. Again, the price was coming down, uh, hitting this TL, and uh, based on this harmonic um, pattern and all the calculation, it was very perfect calculation. This is a 50% pullback. Then it goes down to 23.6%, uh, which I always tell you, you know, it's my perfect, perfect. I just uh, uploaded a video uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, it was private for a little while, and then uh, I, I opened it up for everyone. So I was showing that the euro index, uh, our daily index, I guess, or four-hour index was doing the same thing. 
and it was going up and it, it went up nice very nice um, and probably going up still I don't know so these patterns are you know they repeat themselves and uh, all you gotta do is then you know if you learn and if you see these calculations and then you have an idea that what's going on and if you expect that and you are ready according to that pattern or to, according to the upcoming move then it's very easy to take the trade because you have more confidence you know if you know that you're gonna, you're gonna bounce from here usd will get stronger and then that obviously your usd or other usd pairs will probably go down you know what i'm saying it's very simple uh so what happened to this one like i said here if this black tail holds and if it, the price turns to the upside then we may go to finish this bad pattern at point d so, so far we are halfway uh, there, uh, let me show you, see here, nice and clean, um, but I'm concerned now because uh, you see this here, my indicator, uh, Mr. Mogambo was all the way down here when we start the up move, but it has reached the up move, but here, even though we, you see the indicator was up and we were here and then we still went up. So it doesn't mean it, you know, anything, but it's like a heads up, you know, what's up. You gotta be, pay attention to that. So we are all the way here. Maybe we will start wobbling like this and keep going up. God knows. But right now we are facing uh, resistance here, and uh, looks like that we might be able to break it because of the momentum. But uh, you never know, you know. So this is so far, it's very good. Okay, it's behaving. You know, it's going very nice and clean. Slow, but you know, because of the December and January year end, year, you know, beginning, and all that. But you know, I was expecting something like that. But maybe we'll get, <laughs> we might get now because see that it starts slow, 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 and then all of a sudden it, it, you know, uh, catch up the momentum. So uh, we might be able to break this high here, and then um, I, I seriously doubt about this one. So. Uh, after this uh, breaking this we can easily go to this uh, this area you know if we hundred percent this high and then from there we might drop back to this level and then go up okay so that's how it is so right now we are at the resistance uh, be careful uh, we might drop or break anything can happen so this is it so far um, this one before and after, before and after, nice and clean. There are a couple of charts uh, in the way right now. USDN, one of them I sent out yesterday, and uh, there are a few few others that I'm uh, watching and set, you know setups are building up. So this is how I do. This is what I do. Uh, want to get these charts in your email? Trade. Um, be my guest. Go on my website and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.